Yo, your girl been, yeah, just, if you can't tell, I look and feel like crap, like my head hurts so bad, my whole body is aching, it's Monday, so I don't even know when this, this video is gonna go up, to be honest with you. Right now, it's Bonnet Chronicles in these streets, in these Texas streets. <laughs> but, um, yo, I've been having a rough few days. Like, first of all, I got sick. I don't know what I'm sick with, but I am not in the mood to go to the doctor or the emergency room. I just want to kind of, like, lay it out, see, you know what it is um i talked to my grandma she was like oh you probably got the flu she yeah she worked at a hospital so she thinks she a nurse but um hopefully it's not the flu at all because but that's the like thing about allergies and um the flu and the common cold they all generally share some very similar um symptoms if you didn't have allergies wait like move to austin just move to austin yeah you, you're gonna get them they're gonna hit you right in the face like really really hard like that's no cap anybody who let me i should turn the camera Anybody who is from Austin, lives in Austin, knows that allergies are really, really bad. Yeah, my lips are so dry up. My nose, like, y'all see that? Like, from me blowing my nose. I don't even want to show y'all what the rest of the room look like because it's just a mess and a half. But, um, allergies in, I'm not going to say Texas because Texas part is not true. It's the Austin part in the surrounding areas. Um, I say that because if you go to any other city in Texas, you can go to, what is it? What is that place called? I forgot. It's really close to El Paso, though. You can even go to, like, Dallas and not have allergies but austin you gonna get them if you didn't have them before you got them now like anybody will tell you that it's monday so i had like a whole to-do list of what i was going to do and none of that's gonna happen now because i feel like crap and I've been down and out since pretty much like Saturday. Last night I had a fever of a hundred, like point six or something. <sighs> so I'm just, and it is currently <sighs> two nineteen in the afternoon. I'm gonna have to go get Bailey before five o'clock. y'all like when every piece of your body just aches like this would be the one time being a single mom just like I need help <laughs> uh, I need help yeah I had to drop Bailey off this morning and I was struggling like Usually, I have all her stuff together and ready for the morning, like her clothes, um, her lunch is fixed, everything is done and ready. Well, last night, since I didn't feel good, I didn't have anything ready. Nothing was ready, nothing was set up. Even getting up this morning was so difficult because my body was just... Like, you know, when someone touches you 
and like that small touch just such like yeah that's pretty much how I feel right now so like I said I had to really much cancel my whole day which I had a lot of stuff to do get done which hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling like a little bit better and I can get some stuff done I'm just so thankful that um, the semester is over with and done, like, so done. I just wish my body wasn't hurt. Like, y'all, if you was to touch my back right now, ooh, like, it really hurts a lot. Like, Bailey, she just wanted to be right up under me, like super freaking close so close and i'm just like get off me before you get sick and i'd rather be the one sick than to see her be sick because bailey don't get sick very often i thank the lord she don't get sick very often but when she gets sick my baby gets sick like i think i think i put it out in one of these vlogs well, maybe it was like a vlog from this time last year that I had to take a whole week off from work to stay home with her. And it ended up being a week and a half that, you know, and oh my God, you guys, like I've been having one hell of a week the last week. So I had to report my um, credit card stolen because I just had like so many charges because I went on there to see... You know, I'm just one of those people, like, I always check my account, you know. So I went, and I was like, why is my credit card, like, almost maxed out? Like, what is going on? I'm like, that's really weird. So I was looking through the transactions. Y'all, I'm that person. I'm I'm that one, right? Are you not just going to say, no, I, I, I need to look at everything, with a fine tooth comb and make sure it's right. Like, we're talking about credit cards, right? So I'm looking through it. I'm like, I, all these trips, uh, this was not me. Like, and I'm not one of those people who's gonna sit there and lie, you know, just so I can get my money back or nothing like that. Like, no, that's wrong. That's really wrong. But it really wasn't me. And so I called my bank and I was like, um, I have several, not just one, not just two, not just three, but several um, transactions that I didn't make. And they were made yesterday. And I was like, at this point, because I've had like a similar situation happen before. And I disputed them because it wasn't me, but I didn't get a different card. So... Yeah, I have to wait to get another card, and I didn't expedite it because that had been $14. So I was like, just take the 10 days and send it to me. And um, this re the same similar situation kind of happened with my uh, debit card. Like, I was like, who is this? Like, I don't understand. Like, why is my card... I think it had said I paid Facebook like $60 or something like that. And I was like, paid Facebook? I ain't paid Facebook no money. And this was like before I even like knew that you could pay people through Facebook. I didn't know that. Like y'all, I've only been on Facebook probably like four or five months. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit longer now. But all the little upgrades they've done, I didn't know about them. But yeah, so my debit card definitely was not on my Facebook account. And yeah, I was like, this is not me. I did not pay Facebook no $60. Why would I pay Facebook $60? So I had to get that transaction disputed. And they had to send me a new card and everything like that. Yeah, this is, this is kind of it for the vlog. Like, I just wanted to kind of show face. I don't know when this will be up. I don't know at this point you know I I think I did pretty well with vlogmas 
especially since this is my very first year doing vlogmas um yeah so i don't know but this is bonnet chronicles from my bed and i'm sick and i literally don't have any medicine or food or anyone man all right you guys um you stay blessed you stay encouraged and you stay in the word bye y'all